All right, guys, we're going to be making some uh, baby back ribs today with a slow cooker and a little Texas tradition here. You can go with two shiner cream ales, some Stubbs barbecue sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, and then uh, you know, some brown sugar. Uh, don't worry about the Olive Garden bag. That's old. Um, and then I went ahead and did the... Uh, or, Deep on them now. I did some uh, HEB pre seasoned ribs and uh, just deep on them right now, like I said. And then we'll get them in the, get them in the slow cooker. Um, I recommend um, you get a bigger one than this um, just because you're going to have to cut them probably in three racks here. It's a little bit too small. That's pretty much the gist of it. Um, what you want to do is so take those ribs, you know, cut them so that they fit evenly inside here. That way, it's not a, it's not a overlapping. The edge doesn't get burnt. And you can add any seasoning you want to it. You want salt and pepper. I mean, you want more of a bite to it. This is pretty much your preference on it. That's how you want to do it. These are really good ribs. Uh, they fall off the bone. You want to cook them in here for about seven, eight hours. Obviously, I'm not going to play the video for that whole time. So we'll just go ahead and start getting getting this going here. Just go ahead and put your beer in. And all we're really doing with the beer is it is adding some flavor, but uh. It's also just helping the ribs cook as well. You can add your favorite beer in there, Coors Light. I mean, Guinness. Guinness is really good as well. Uh, some people put soda, Dr. Pepper in there. That works too. Some more Chestershire sauce going in there. Bag it up a little bit. Make it get a little healthy. That's good. I'm about to do a half a cup of brown brown sugar in the pot. And what you want to do when the ribs are ready to go in, you want to uh, go ahead and baste your ribs as well. Okay, so about half a cup, cup's on. Gonna be accurate. This is a little bit sweet. A little bit more than that. Make this for my buddy J.O. Shout out to him. I don't know he can make this at home for Gabby and their little kid. Kiddo. He's a stay at home dad. He's a tool, but we love you, J.O. And that's it. Like I said, uh, go ahead and put it on uh, the low setting here about seven to eight hours. Um, and that's it. You're going to go ahead and cut the ribs, like I said, in sections where they're not touching the edges, and let it rip. It's a good meal. Hope you have a good day.